channel. I'm Aishwarya and I'm Ankita. Sorry for that. And welcome to the class, everyone. How are you all? So we are back with, I think, the third episode for Let's Challenge, where, ma'am, we are having biology versus SST, right? Yes. It's, it was very difficult for us to write because we teach both the subjects. Yeah, so it, it, for both of us to pick one side was very tough. But nonetheless, everybody, I hope all of you are excited for today's class. And ma'am, today's class is going to be an amazing Menti class, right? Yes. So everybody, quickly go to www.menti.com and type in the code 36965455, right? So everybody, quickly go ahead. Yes. And I think ma'am Amritan Shu is right. It's almost like it is bio versus bio and SST versus SST. Absolutely correct. So <laughs> now we will give you a chance to guess. You know, who is going to be on biology side and who is going to be on <laughs> SST side. Because yeah. before the session started, we said we should have the plan ready with us. So we played rock, paper, scissor. Yeah. And um, you won't believe, yeah, we actually played rock, paper and scissor to pick the subject. Yes. So who do you think is going to be in SST? Is it going to be me or Ankita ma'am? Who is going to be representing or yeah. like representing is the right word, right? Yes. Okay, who is it going to be? Ma'am, you are just acting. You support both. Yeah, we to support both the teams. Definitely, we, wa we want both of us to win. Both the subjects to win. But what do you think the SST, like which of us, like amongst both of us, who will be representing SST and who will be representing bio? So write bio dash SST dash, right? For and SST, they, I asked them for SST and there's a mix of Ashwarya and Ankita Vab. Okay. We can again play rock, but we know that what we are representing. Yes. See, we're doing this so that in the meanwhile, all of you join, S, um, join SST, it seems. Join Menti. <laughs> yes. Yes. I hope that everyone, <laughs> all of you are ready. I can see so many of you here. 87. We will be only starting our class t until, like up until we have some likes. Everyone, come on, come on. Hit the like button. Yes. yes. Quickly go ahead and make sure that you hit the like button on this video because you know, right? That when we say that we'll not start till you like and you know it. That's a fact. Okay. Okay, Harsimran wants you in <laughs> biology. So technically, if you think about it, both of us are on both the sides and whoever wins today, the other person is also the winner. We are, for us, it's very one plus one type, you know, like this, buy yeah. one, get one free kinds. We are like that. So with biology and SST today, we are going to be in that way. Bhavika, nobody's ignoring you. Chat is moving very fast, right? So it's a little difficult to know who is who. But yes, um, as you know, we played rock, paper, scissor and I won. <laughs> Yeah, ma'am won and ma'am have bio and I have SST. Yes, but I also miss SST. I also wanted to say, nonetheless, I told you, you know, if ma'am wins today, I am also winning. If I win today, ma'am is also winning. I'm 100% sure bio is winning today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ma'am, you should bring Saurabh sir. Oh, oh Saurabh sir is so busy. How can we drag him <laughs> everywhere? Yes. But we'll tell him. We actually told him. <laughs> that you also come in the session today. Yeah. So everybody, quickly in the meanwhile, join the Menti code, right? Go to, w, um, you know, go to www.menti.com and type in the code 36965455. Now, if a lot of you are new to the class, do not forget to like this video, right? And if this is the first class you are, that you are attending on our channel, ma'am, for them, why don't you tell them a little bit about what is this challenge that is there? Tell me also. Yeah. So the challenge that we are having is a UT challenge, right? Unit test. It's a second, it's a second league that we are happening and you have your unit exam which are very close by. So we thought why not have a revision with all of us, right? And oh, you all love these quizzes formats. So we thought yes, we'll have a revision and of course we'll have the quizzes also. So we have this challenge and in that we have two different subjects competing, right? And you have to vote for it and you won't believe both of us will be getting a marks. So okay. if you are, yeah, if you answer it correct, right, that particular subject, the SST or the bio, will be getting the marks. The marks will be getting add up in the end, and in the end will come to know that which subject actually has more Ooh. marks. Oh, nice, right? Very interesting, ma'am. Yeah. So let's see which subject is there. Let's quickly move ahead over here, and before we go ahead, right, this is something which we always tell you. Because New Year is coming and I'm sure all of you are excited. We have really very interesting webinar which is happening on 21st of December. Chetna Ma'am will be talking to your parents about setting goals, executing them and achieving them. 
So this webinar is really very interesting, which will be happening on 21st of December. There are only limited seats and it's absolutely free of course, so ask your parents to join. It's a parent club webinar where parents actually meet yes. and discuss, right? So everybody do not forget to register, right? So now ma'am, I think we can move on. Yes, and uh, as we always tell you to subscribe, why? Soon, very soon ma'am, we will be a family of 50k. We very want soon, to expand, right? right? Yeah, so we're going to be a family of 50k and I think we should hit that 50,000 very soon. We are at 48.8. Yes. We're very far away, like so close to 50. So whose job is it to hit 50,000? It's your job, right? So everybody go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And everybody's like, ma'am, collect the hearts. So normally what I do is I keep my hand near the heart. I yes. think, ma'am, you are closer to the hearts. No, this side. Absolutely. Yes, yes, we are collecting the hearts and we're keeping it close. <laughs> so everybody do not forget to subscribe yes very very important well they have actually there's one i think i i didn't see the intelligent boy ashwanka <laughs> mixing of the name nice very good okay yes yes we're going to start very soon but in the meanwhile everyone this is very important right that you fill in your details so ma'am i think we have to spend some time on this slide yes. so that all our students can <laughs> fill it up so quickly everybody quickly Yes, 1,200 students should subscribe. Who's going to tell those 1,200 students? It's all of you only, no? So quickly, everybody, please make sure that you share it. We will start soon as soon as you fill this. Once you fill the form, let us know in the comments set section telling that you have filled. Give us a thumbs up and then we're going to get started. Because we have, ma'am, a good number of students in the live class, around 90 students, and we yeah. have only 27 here. Yes, everyone, quickly, quickly join the mentee. Fill the form and happy birthday to Shalini. Yes, got it, intelligent boy. Yes, we didn't we didn't get a time to read the name. It's okay. You can write in the you know leaderboard if you're there. Yes. Hello, Spandan. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Please start from biology. Let's see what the mentee has for us, right? Okay. <coughs> Filled everything, ma'am. Please do this for grade eight, seven. Yes, yes. Let us know in the comment section for all of this, right? So those of you who want it for 7th grade, 6th grade, all of you let us know in the comment section below. 74 of you are here and quickly everyone let us know. Yes everyone. And apart from that please make sure that you are, that you know you are hitting the like button. It's very very important for all of us to know that you are, you are enjoying the class. Please make sure to hit the like button. Yes done 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 done. SSTC ready. Achha, SSC se start karenge. Anything, anything. We don't know which question will be there on a very, the first question. But yes, so it will be suspense, right? Yes. And in the meanwhile, guys, it's a less challenge quiz, but something looks incomplete, no? Yes. It's not the way we have our let's challenge one, right? How many of you noticed this? That it's let's challenge session and something looks missing, right? How many of you noticed this? Yes, exactly. I was like, my me, Josh is incomplete. Yes. So why is the Josh incomplete? Because of course something is missing on our screen. So Shiva, can we have it? <laughs> yes. All right. So we're going to have it on screen very soon. Yes. So I know, yes, you all have guessed it. Yeah, the points, right? Absolutely correct. The points are missing. We will have it in a bit. Yes. Yes, very good, very good. Laughing corner, yes. <laughs> yes, the laughing corners. Very good, everyone. We can freeze this and then we can have it. Very good. Bio Zindabad. Yes, Bio Zindabad. We want Bio to win. We want Bio to win. And SST also. Okay, everyone. So we'll just wait for one more minute. Right? And we will start. So what we will do is a little bit. We will just be starting with just a little small thing that needs to get. You know, we're just trying to figure it out. But till that time, what do you think, ma'am? We'll start or we'll wait? Just, we'll just wait for one more minute. Right? And uh, all of you, everyone, I hope that all of you are ready. I can see team bio and team SST. I know bio team will win. 
Yes, I am also with bio team. <laughs> yeah, bio is my subject, so I am with bio team. But of course, you know that. Okay, I don't want to be sound very cliche, but you know that, right? Bio is a part of science, but SS3 is a whole subject itself. So we have to pay attention to all, both the subjects, right? Yes. Yes. So everybody, shall we wait for two more minutes so that we have our Let's Challenge template? Huh. Yes. Shall we wait for two more minutes? I know all of you have been waiting. Some of you are like, ma'am, no, no, we don't want to wait. But we need to fix a small thing so that we can have that thing. Okay, you... They can hear us now? Now they can hear us. Okay, huh. so we might be muted for some time also. So don't worry, we, we are here. You will be able to see us. Don't worry. Okay? Yes. Two extra minutes to read actually. Revise quickly everything. Yes. So are you all able to see and hear us? Are you all able to see and hear us and see our screen clearly? SST and bio. Yes. Okay. So we are just setting it up, right? Ha, huh? now it's fine, no? Okay, yes, you can hear us all right. Yes, the theme has changed. So I think as they were changing the theme, it took a little bit while to buffer. So I think a lot of our friends dropped off in between thinking that you know what, the session is over. So quickly everybody, please make sure that you do. Mom, your voice is breaking. Don't worry, Bachas. I think it's going to be fine. Now it's better. Audio, video, screen, all looking fine. Yes? The got stuck. Huh, yeah, it's fine now. Now it's fine. Yes, I know they're going to change it to SST and biology. Don't worry, don't worry. It'll be changed, right, Shiva? Yes. Ha, ha. So, so Shiva sir is working very hard to make sure that it's going to be set up. So everyone in the chat quickly show lots of support for Shiva sir as he's going to work simultaneously to make sure that everything should be exactly the way it is, right? Because we know, right, we're depending on a lot of technology and at times we can have some hindrances. Yes, okay. Yes, very good everyone. I can see 91 of you in the class. That's amazing. And on Monday we have 121. So very good. I hope that all of you have registered yourself. I hope that all of you have filled the form. And just let's have a smiley chain and we'll start. Right everyone? Let's have a smiley chain. Do tell us that we are good to go. Right? Yay, yay, yay. Very good everyone. Very good. So a lot of wishes coming for Shiva sir. <laughs> yes, the code is we. Uh, the code is nine six three six. Yeah, nine six three six five four double five. Very good, everyone. No, it's three six nine six. We oh, yeah, three six nine <laughs> six five four double five. Yes, very, very good. good. I know lots of motivation coming for Shiva sir. He's going to keep setting it up. So don't worry guys in the meanwhile. See at the end of the day we want an experience that we will not forget. Right? And when we do all of that it takes a little bit of time. So thank you so much for being so patient. For being so amazing as you guys are, are, are at at all times. So we'll just move to the next slide so that we can actually see all the avatars. Right? So many of you are asking how many questions are there. So we have total 15 questions. Which is very interesting. Right? And let's see. I'm not sure how 15 questions. But yeah, we'll have it, right? We'll see. Yes. All right. So I think, ma'am, we can get started. Yeah. And Siva sir will keep setting it up. So maybe the template might take a while to come on screen. But let's not delay, right? Let's yes. get started with the mentee. How many of you want to get started? The template will come maybe by the time we finish two questions, right, yes. ma'am? Yes. Yeah. So shall we get started? Everybody quickly. Very good. You are the dragon. E.T. Yes. Very good. Yes, ma'am. They are saying yes. So let's get started, everyone. We will be noting down the points. See, just because there was physics does not mean that we give this an opportunity to find Saurabh's. <laughs> yes. Bio. Bio and SST. SST. Okay. So, ma'am, I think we can have the first question. Yes. Let's have the first question, everyone. All the best to each one of you. Yes, and let's get started. Right. Here we go. And there's a small one thing that we ask from you. Please make sure to vote for the 100% answer. Okay, okay. Oh, this is from the agriculture chapter. 
from the SST that what is the cultivation of grapes called as? Very easy question, right? The cultivation of grapes called as what? Sericulture, viriculture, foric, foriculture and horticulture. This I'm sure Ashwara Ma'am have recently taught you. Yes. And you know the answer. Please everyone, please make sure to vote for the correct answer. Exactly guys, this is something we've already discussed about, no? Even if you don't know what is it. Very good everyone, super proud of each one of you that you remember this, right? It's a very very important and very very easy concept. But of course you will be learning not just in SST but also in bio. Yes. So, so we know that large scale cultivation of grapes or wines is what we call as bitty culture, right? Ma'am and sericulture is nothing but silkworm, right? Silkworm, large scale yes. cu cultivation of silkworm, floriculture of course flowers. is flowers and horticulture is nothing but our fruits and vegetables yes. that are there. Yes. So well done everybody. Well done. Yes, Very exactly. Good. Okay. So first question is done ma'am. Now the question for bio. Let's have a look at question number two everyone on your screens. Okay, which instrument is used for spraying weedy sites? Okay, let's see. Sprayer, cultivator, plow, come. <laughs> what? This is, this is very easy. <laughs> all of you, all of you should get this question correct. Ma'am, please give time to write name. Ha ha. From next question, we'll give you time. Sorry, Vacha, that we didn't give you time. See, SSD and Y was so easy. Yeah. So please make sure everyone, I, I think both of us want that more than 100, per, 100 of you should vote for this. Very good, 125. Awesome everyone. 125 of you have voted, right? And of course, prayer is the correct answer. Very easy peasy. So all the best. Very good. So we have noted down the marks. Yes, I am writing down in my sheet of paper. In the meanwhile, as Shiva sir sets it up, right? So the oh. cumulative points will be there eventually on screen. So ma'am, I think we can wait a minute in this slide because all our students want to write their yes. names. Please. So everyone write your names and give us a thumbs up in the chat so that we know that we can go ahead, right? Okay. It is Gajar Ka Halwa question. Yeah, Gajar Ka Halwa. Very good. Gajar Ka Halwa. Okay, leaderboard, you guys know when leaderboard will come, no? So, guys, just wait for leaderboard, okay? So, so they are giving thumbs up now? Yes, okay. Code is 36965455, that is what it is, okay? Alright, very good, very good, okay. Yes, after seven questions, it will come. Now, moving on everyone to question number three. And here we have, it's, it will be a SST question, let's see. Okay, which is not an agro based industry from the chapter industries. We have oil, textile, sugar and food processing. Very easy question. Which among these is not an agro based industry? This also I taught you just yes. last week. Yeah. See, I'm standing here like, you know, those external, those internal examiners waiting to see did my children, you know, get the answer correctly or no. So I'm waiting with all that eagerness. Come on, everyone. You have to make sure. No, that just shows that how much how much attention you're paying in the class. Yes, come on everyone. Oh. Guys, what happened? See, oil. Don't think of cooking oil. <laughs> I think that's where all of you got confused, right? When we talk about oil-based industries, what are we talking about? Fossil fuels or the oils that are like petroleum, all yes. of those things. That is what is in oil, right? No, I mean, textile, again, if you talk about it, textile industry is separate, okay? But at the same time, when you know the raw materials that will there come from textile. A lot of you asked me, you know, about this. How many of you remember, you all asked me, ma'am, what about textile? Will it come under agro? We know that the the raw materials are coming from cotton and that is cultivated and gotten from agriculture no so are we clear sugar also we know sugar cane and then of course food processing see it's a little there but at the end of the day when we talk about food it's obtained from your agro base little tricky yes so are we clear so on this point of course bio is leading and SST is not <laughs> so seems like you need more classes of SST <laughs> It's 33. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Yes, ma'am, I thought it was misleading because, ha, huh, yes, yeah, sometimes chat can be misleading. Now please, please make sure that you're not focusing in the chat and you're just focusing in on the correct answer that you know. Okay, 33 of you have voted for it and which is good. Now we are moving to question number four, which is of bio and let's see what is the question of bio. We have, okay. 
deliberately injecting weak microbes into a healthy body and producing antibodies to fight strong microbes is called as what? Medication, antibiotics, vaccination or all of the above? Sure, each one of you should answer this question absolutely correct. Should be more than 100. We're talking about injecting weak microbes to develop something which produces antibodies. Yes, now we're on both sides. Are we on both sides? Not yet. Yes, very good. But again, most of you still have confusions between antibodies and antibiotics, right? So what is vaccination? Vaccination of vaccine. Vaccination is the process. Vaccine is when you inject a dead or weakened microbe or it's a preparation of a dead and weakened microbe. And when you inject it into the body, it gives you immunity, right? It gives you resistance to fight against the pathogens or the disease causing microbes. But ma'am, what are most often than not we get confused with antibiotics, right? Yes, because See, vaccine, I'm sure of antibiotics, you must have thought that that is something which is there in the body when we're injecting from the outside. We got confused, but it's okay. Yes. You know the correct answer. So, see, antibiotics, see, antibodies, antibiotics, always remember the difference, okay? Antibodies are produced by the body. Antibiotics are chemicals that we get, right? Yes. So, do not forget that. Antibodies is basically something we get, get it from outside. Yes. Like the tablets, the medicines that we eat. If you have a fever, right, sometimes, especially in the... Bacterial infections yes. or in the disease. Very good. And remember, it's not made of weak microbes. They're chemicals, like ma'am said, right? So remember that. Okay. 72, huh? 72, yeah, yeah. Not bad. There's only a 40 point difference. We have the leaderboard now. Yes, here we have the leaderboard. Let's see. Fastest is Tanya. Then we have Shiva, Dakshini, we have Abhijit, Harsimran, Tanya. We have two Tanya in the class. Very good. We have Jia, Deepashri, loves to learn, Haina, Vedika and Akshu. Well done everybody, well done and everybody else is also sharing in their ranks on the chat. So we're not able to see the ranks on screen, that's why we have our phones with us. So ma'am you want some water? No, no, no. thank you, I'll just have one. Yes. Right. So everybody, well done, well done. Lot of good ranks coming in. Very good, very good. Yes, 12th, 90th, not a problem. Keep the josh going, right? Stay excited, be excited and trust me, lot more interesting questions which will come your way. Alright, so are we ready? Are we ready? The josh is high, well done. Okay. Okay ma'am, I think we are good to go and let's see question. But before that, this is what we were talking about, right? So we have the unit test league which is happening and we have the different timings for the different classes. So you will not be missing any of the class. Sixth class graders, you have this mentee uh, unit test league at 5 p.m., 7 grade, 7 p.m., 8 grade, 8 p.m. Okay? And that's a common slot. That's where we are over here and we are. We have a combination of bio and SSC today. Yes. So please make sure to join all of these classes and the winners will be getting a Digital certificate signed by the teachers. Yes, so everybody, that's why we keep telling you filling the form in the beginning of the mentee is very important. So do not forget to stay subscribed to our channel because all these exciting things happen only here and nowhere else. Okay, so now shall we move on? Yes, to the next question. And let's see question number five, everyone. Here we go. Question number five on your screen. And we have 100 likes, which is a good number, but we need, like, I'm sure we can add more. Okay, the mutiny started from, okay, it's a very easy question, Bareilly, Delhi, Agra or Meerut. I want at least 100 of you. Come on, it's a very easy question. When we had the first mutiny, right, where it started from, which place? It's a very easy peasy question. We have a movie based upon that, so yeah, you all should answer this question. Yes. Oh, this. This. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> very good everyone, very good. Here we have and, 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 and. How many of you? Very good. 99 of you have voted for the correct answer which is a good number. And the correct answer is Meerut, right? So we know that in Meerut we had the first mutiny which, mu which actually got started. The first rebel, right? And it started from there and gets spread to till the Delhi, right? So it's a very good thing that you remember this. Very good. Mangal Pandey movie. Absolutely correct. 
right? We have said it about him and about the other freedom fighters who were there at that particular time and who contributed to the first, first rebel. Very good, everyone. So with this, we are done with this question. Now let's move to the next question, which will be of bio. So all the best, everyone. Right, see, all of us should be targeting for 100. Every question, we should have more than 100 kids. Yes, Yes. So in pasteurization, the milk is heated to about what degrees? 100 degrees, 50 degrees, 70 degrees or 110. Now in so many mentees, we have asked you this question to a point that now you all should be able to answer. Yes. Right? It's a very easy question, everyone. Such an easy question. Some of you are saying, ma'am, tukka, why tukka? We've taught you this, no? It's very simple and easy, yes? Very good, oh. but, but you know, okay, no issues, but those of you who got the answer incorrect, now you know what is the correct answer. It could be a misleading chat or it could be a misclick also, ma'am, right? Yes. But so many you know. of you are saying that ma'am it is misclick but see it's between 70 to 75 right not to 100 so they heat it very quickly to this temperature and they cool it immediately and this immediate heating and cooling actually kills a lot of microbes which is why pasteurization is normally adopted for you know uh, processing milk so that we can get rid of any harmful microbes that might be there and also helps with packaging it right yes. Yes, very good everyone, very good. So now we will move on, right? Let's move on. So question number seven everyone. Let's see. Question number seven of SST. Yes. Who gave the order to fire the Jaliawala Bagh in, in Jaliawala Bagh or on innocent people calmly? General Dyer, we have Dr. Satpal, Dr. Shafiuddin or none of these. So of which among these person actually gave the permission to fire on the people who were there sitting calmly in the Jaliawala Bagh and having a discussion. It's a very, very, I would not say easy question, but I'm sure you will be able to recall the name right among these. Yes. And it's a very important question, especially on an examination point of yes. view, because they'll ask you to write about this. Very good, everyone. And 101 of you have voted for the correct answer. The correct answer is General Dyer, right? So you remember that just not very close to the independence but during the time of independence when Gandhiji started the movement so the people were sitting there in Jaliwala Bagh and discussing and they're having a common very calm discussion they were doing nothing against the rules and regulation they were not you know shouting they were, they were nothing against the law at that particular time but unfortunately General Dyer actually gave the permission to their soldier to actually fire on the innocent people who were there so very bad incident that that had happened and yes we know the correct person name very good everyone yeah we will have the leader boy yeah i know such a cruel person absolutely correct Yes. So now we will move on to the next question, which is bio, after which I think ma'am we have the leaderboard, right? Yes. And I think we have a bonus question for you also. Ideally it should be 14, but one bonus wherein we will put it for both the you know SST and bio because yeah. we are common. <laughs> okay. okay. Moving on, everybody. Yes. The removal of the top layer of Ooh. soil leads to what? Oh, easy peasy. Very easy. Desertification. Rainfall, <coughs> snowfall or deforestation. Removal of top soil or the top layer of soil eventually leads to. I give you a clue now. Yes, there are some misleading answers in the chat. Some answers are correct also. <laughs> yes, it's very easy. Very good, very good everyone. 98 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is desertification. That's and I can see that 27 of you did get confused, right? Now ah. what is deforestation? I'm sure all of you watched Ankita Ma'am's class on conservation of plants yes. and animals. And we know that deforestation is nothing but cutting off trees, right? Or felling of trees. How is that removal of top layer of soil? No, but when you do deforestation, it subjects the land to soil erosion, yes. right? It can be eroded by the water. I mean, there be, multiple factors could be there, eventually making the land infertile, right, yes. ma'am? Yeah. And eventually it leads to desertification. Yes. Well, of course, if, there's, if the top layer of soil is not there for a prolonged time, of course, the sand will not be able, so basically the soil will not be able to hold the water and eventually what will happen? 
as there's no water the sand will be the soil will be getting converted into the sand and of course we have the desert yes exactly so that's why the correct answer is option a and you will be surprised to know i feel like sst is winning oh, isn't, it's not it is in terms of total yeah is it yeah everyone please make sure you hit the like button we have 123 of you one actually 131 of you are here and uh, we How many of you want to know what is the total point ah, so yeah. far? You, I've just opened this. Okay, I'll do. No, ma'am, you can check the chat in the meanwhile. I'll do it. Okay. How many of you want to know what is the total score so far? What do you think? Me, 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 ma'am. Me, me, me also. <laughs> okay, we are doing a lot of manual math here yes. using calculator. So, SST is at 336 points. Yes, okay? 336 everyone. Very good. Now, biology, which I'm a little worried is going to be very close to SST. Will be much, much, much more because of the 125 in the beginning. 365! I told you. Like, but it's good. good. It's good. Yes, it's good that, you know, kind of close, but yeah, bio is winning, but everyone, come on. See, that yes. means you guys both know your SST and bio really well, right? Can you believe it? Can you believe that both SST and bio is more or less the same? So everyone to quickly tell you SST is at 336 points, bio is at 365 points. Yes. Now they're like, ma'am, SST is winning. <laughs> SST and bio will win, but they're saying that bio will win. No, no, I feel like SST is not leading. SST is 30 points behind. That's it. Very good, everyone. So we'll keep this high, right? Come on. All of us, all of us should be looking for, forward to this. And yeah, I think that's it. Good. So we have the final scores, not the final scores up to here. And I think after this, what we have is very interesting question number nine. So now, till now, we know that, you know, what are the scores of the, both the subjects. Let's see this question and let's move ahead. And here we have question number nine. Question number nine, I think it will be of SST. Okay. What is an act of breaking in law as well as uh, to breach... Of the fundamental rights. Uh, matlab, if just in case if we are uh, if we are breaking any law, what we call it as violation, acute, dispute, or all of these. So easy, guys. Yeah, matlab, I'm sure we I think we haven't discussed this, but you have already studied this in your previous classes. So I'm sure you'll be able to answer this question. And we had a recently hooked on to GK where we spoke about fundamental rights oh, and yes. duties. So technically, this should be easy for all of you. Everybody's like, my easy one. Easy one? Let's see, 85 of you have voted for the correct answer, which is the violation. So if, if a person is breaking any of the fundamental rights or any laws that we have in our country, we call it as the violation, right? Of course, we should not be doing that. So 85 of you got it correct. 25 of you got actually confused and you have voted for all of these. So di disputes means basically the fight, right? Like, dispute is like disagreement. Dis yeah, disagreement, yes. And acute like kind of the same thing. Yes. Okay. Shiva, can we at least have the comments on screen? Yes. Okay. I think we have the numbers. Very good, everyone. 85 of you. Now, I hope now we are clear. Okay. Now, we will move on to the next one where we're going to be looking. Oh, we have the leaderboard after this. I think the leaderboard should have come later. Yeah. But nonetheless, let's have a look at the leaderboard. <laughs> Things are a little bit up and down here. But it's but okay. It's okay. So Harsimran is at top with 8,611 points. Then we have Abhijit, then we have Abhinav, then we have Diksha, Fariha, Yuvex, Deepashri, Smita, Thiri, Yamuna, Nagarwali. What? <laughs> Who is this? Tell me your name. Who's on number 9? And Tashmiya. Well done, everyone. Well done. Thiri, Yamuna, Nagarwali, mommy. Nice. Very good. But yeah, we really want to know who is on ninth position. What is that? You know your name. Yes. Yes, Sri. Yes, ma'am. Do look like her, or she look like her. We would say that, right? <laughs> she look like her. We should say that. Not, ma'am. She look like her. No, she look like her. We yes, should say yes. like that. That yes. is where the future is going. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, everybody. Yeah, the graph is so weird today. Today is. See, we all have our days, you know, where sometimes things are up and down, sometimes things are not going the way it should have ideally been going. But that's the beauty of life also, to make the best out of whatever is there, right? Whatever happens, you make the best out of it, no? That's the attitude we should all be having, no? Yes, 14th rank, yes, very good. Huh, now we have the comments on screen, we'll be able yes. to read it. Very all right, everybody, now how's the Josh in the chat? How are we feeling after so many questions? 
Are we feeling good? Are we feeling confident about revising SST and biology? How are we feeling? Nice, Manjit. Yeah. Abhinav was like, I'm sleepy. <laughs> but still, you are there on the leaderboard. Yes. You cannot say that you are sleepy, right? Very good. Very high energy, ma'am. Very good. Very good. Yes, Pavneet. Yes. Okay. So we are done with this. And let's quickly see the next question, right? But before that, what we have something very interesting which you all know. Right, that we when we tell you to subscribe, right, right, but why we are asking because we know that will be helping you. We have so many sessions on the channel already for you, so please make sure to check the playlist, specially meant, specially made for you, so that you don't get lost. You have everything over there, so please make sure to check out this. And you know, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be able to have all of this. Yes, yeah, some of you are like, Mom. Biology. Feeling bored? No. Some of you are saying, Mom, you're feeling bored because easy questions. Have you ever thought about it that it's probably easy for you because you know the concept? Yeah. So think of it that way. Yes, everyone. So please make sure you check these playlists out and let's get going. Right? <laughs> so question number 10, everybody. This is going to be a bio question and let's have a look. Name the areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat. See, focus on animals and I'll say wild animals and then you go ahead. Sanctuary, biodiversity, palaces or beach. This should be easy. Should be very easy for all of you everyone, come on. Yeah. <laughs> very good everybody very good now I'm shocked that some of you got confused See, if national park and biosphere reserve was there I would have still understood that some of some confusion was there yes. yeah technically none of the others are there right exactly I've also leaked the answer I leaked some very major thing where I said wild animals so we know that wild animals when they are protected and no disturbance is made to their habitat we call it as a wildlife sanctuary right now biodiversity is nothing but the variety of animals and not just animals but Plants life also, that we yes. find right so that is what is biodiversity so are we clear for those of you who got confused are we clear whoever voted for option B? 41 of you voted that. And too. one have voted for palaces also. Yeah. <laughs> one. Why? I think it's a mislead. Yes. Basically, it could be a mis misclick. Yes, it would be a misclick, right? Very okay. Good. Okay. So yes. Very good, everyone. It is clear. So, well done. Naman, how to join Menti? Go to www.menti.com and type the code that you see on top, right? That is 36965455. Ma'am, what is biodiversity? Biodiversity is the variety or the different kinds of animals and plants that we find. But we know that we need to also conserve and protect them, which is why we have, especially for conserving wildlife animals, we have wildlife sanctuary. Okay. Yes, ma'am is a leucosaurus. Ha huh, ha, huh, it's a proven fact at this point. <laughs> question number 11, everyone, on your screen, and let's see what the question is. Okay. Let's just see. I hope nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. What term refers to a person who is tried by a court for a crime? Hopefully, each one of you should get this correct. Accused, lawyer, detention, or free trial. So, what term will be used for a person who is there actually in a court and of course there's the court is saying okay basically the lawyer is saying that you are uh, you, you you did that crime i was about to give you the answer but <laughs> i just stopped myself it suddenly it was there but yeah what word we use for them it's an easy thing everyone come on all of you should vote for this it's a very easy peasy question yes and let's see 93 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is accused you're absolutely correct Right? So, if a person who did something wrong, we call them as the accused in the court. Yes. Accused yes, is innocent until proven guilty. Yes, we have studied that also. Very good, very good. <laughs> this came for your exam. Yes. So, see, some of the questions that are here might be easy, but they also come for your exams. That's also why we tell you that sometimes we underestimate the easy questions, right? Yeah. And because, see, these terms that we're learning now will be helping you in the future. So you have to understand that these words are not just the words. So, for example, in bio, when we talk about biodiversity, it's a very important term. 
the definition of biodiversity will be same yes. in class 7, class 6, class 8 till class 12 or even in your you know post graduation and PhD. So that's we should be aware about these terms and here we have. Yes. So this is basically building your fundamentals, right? Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. It will be a bio question. Da, da, da. Here we have. Which of the following statement is or are correct? Okay. Four statements are there. I am not reading this. You guys read it and tell me which is the correct answer because you have at least 45 seconds for this. Cloning in animals is done by the transfer of nucleus. Dolly was a clone of in dot, uh, of the Dorset sheep whose cell nucleus was used in developing. Cloning is the production of an exact copy of an animal by asexual means or is it all of the above? Take your time, read the options carefully. Please do not do any hurry worry. Read it carefully and then only vote. Yes. Lot of different answers coming in. Seems like very good everyone. 79 of you have voted for the correct answer and all of the statements are absolutely correct. Yes. Hint is that in the question only they said which is is or are correct. Okay, yeah. yes. So we know that cloning is nothing but producing an exact copy as a result of asexual means, right? And we know that in, in the case of animals, it's done by transferring the nucleus of the cell. And we know that Dolly the sheep was the first animal that was being cloned, right? So the correct answer here is option D. Very good everyone. Very, very good. All right. So now let's have a quick look at the next question, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Here we have question number 13, everyone on your screen. Let's see. Let's see, everyone. Here we have question number 13 on the screen. Okay. Who supported the idea of self-respect movement? Very recently, I think, on Monday or Tuesday only we had this class. Oh, I also remember this. Yes, right? So who supported the idea of self-respect movement? I'll not even read the options. It's very easy. Yes, it's super, super easy. This question is really very easy. All of you, ideally all of you should vote for this particular answer. Absolutely correct. If you haven't watched this video, please go and watch this. It was a recent edition on the History Channel video that we had. 60 of you have voted for the correct answer and 40 of you got actually confused. So the self-respect movement was, the idea was supported by the Periya, right? And not Raja Raj Mohan Roy. Raja Ram Mohan Roy actually took the initiative and he was the one who actually banned, took a participation and making sure that the, there's a ban on the Sati Pratha. Then he spoke about the education for the women also and their rights. So very good everyone, 60 of you have voted for the correct answer and let's move ahead to the bio question now yes so question number 14 everyone question number 14 yes don't underestimate the power of SST animals exhibiting external fertilization produce a large number of gametes pick the appropriate reason from the following so you have four reasons from which you need to identify the correct answer this should be very easy okay why do animals that exhibit external fertilization produce a large number of gametes? What is the reason behind it? Yes, everyone. Ma'am, I don't know. If you don't know, you try giving the answer anyway. Very good everybody, very good. 80 of you have got the correct answer, right? Yes, Ankita ma'am is like, Harjimran is like, ma'am, we've done a question similar to this. Yes, we have the, the same question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's okay, no, not a problem. So we know that in animals that exhibit external fertilization, the fusion of gametes happens outside the body, right? And we know that, the re and because it's happening outside the body, chances of the fact that fertilization has to happen takes, you know, to improve that chances of fertilization, large number of gametes are released by the body, right? So this is to ensure better chances of fertilization. Ma'am, how many eggs are released? Well, it differs from animal to animal, okay? But let's assume, let's go with large. Yes, more than 1000 for sure. Because the egg size is really very tiny, very, very tiny. And if Ankta has done this question earlier, why is it that 27 of you made a mistake? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I think they were... Why, why, why? That's a question, Ati. Yes, that's, that's a question. We can, ask, we, we can ask, right? 
Why? See, both of us, both of us can ask you a question on bio and on SSD. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but nonetheless, it's okay guys. I mean, see, that was for, that's just a joke, right? I didn't mean it seriously. It's okay, we tend to make mistakes. That's not a problem at all. I will, we both will never scold you for making mistakes. But we always tell you that if you make a mistake or if you're not understanding something, you ask us and learn from it, right? So that's just like a fun thing. Please don't take me seriously when I said that, okay? And yeah. if you have any doubts, right, you can always go back and watch the videos. It's there already. Yes. So now, ma'am, we're actually done with 14 questions. So do we need to know because the 15th question is a bonus question for both of them, right? So everybody, do you want to know who is leading? Is it going to be SST or bio? What do you think? It's bio. That's a basic math. Ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the numbers. <laughs> we'll ask the kids. Bio or SST? Bonus question, both of the teams are going to get the points. Okay. Let me calculate from, from bio here. first. Huh? 365 to 87 plus 79 plus 80. Oh, wait, wait, one minute. I made some mistakes. Sorry. Yes. Bio, 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 bio. I know. <laughs> yes, bio will win. <laughs> That's what we all need. Okay. So let's have them guess. How much do you think it is? How much do you think bio is at? What point is bio at? You tell us in the chat. Are they close by mama? Are they guessing correctly? No. It's, it's bio only. No, no. Where are we at? Number 600 plus, 400 plus. Ooh, yes. Yes. So the bio is at 611. Ooh. And we have SST at 574. Guys, that's very good to be honest, yes. right? All of you are like, ma'am, SST, very tough, so much to remember. But nonetheless, you all done so well, right? Everybody give a quick chain of emojis in the chat and let us know. Like you should see, this is not just, of course we do bio versus SST and we do chemistry versus physics. We do all of it. But the main thing that you're learning is that you're actually revising two, two subjects at one go, right? Yeah. And with these classes, what actually happens is that you can actually recall things. So it act, it is actually, you know, improving your brain capacity to recall remember and of course then to execute so kudos to each one of you both in bio and both in ssd because you have both the subjects in your examination in examination you don't have a choice you cannot pick okay we will just have bio or okay we just have the ssd we have to write the examination for both the subjects so kudos to each one of you right who did so amazingly well in both the subjects so very good everyone Yes. Now we'll move to last bonus question, which will be 50 points. Yeah, let's see. Which question is that? <laughs> okay, everyone. Okay. Okay, this is from Steel. Okay, this is for SST. Yes. Pisco expanded steel production during. Now, this is Tata Steel, right? If you remember, we have the Tata Steel and they established long, long back ago. So in which basically in which of these war they produces the steel very easy it has to be it has to be the one okay but i'll not say the answer yes <laughs> ma'am also leaks things i realized but yeah i didn't say anything but we learned about why steel production was important right very good everyone 72 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is the first word war so, of course, during the First World War, there was a high demand of the steel. And what had happened at that time also that, you know, the Britishers were in a dire need of the steel and different other pro projects, right? There was a requirement in to make the railway tracks and other things were also happening at that particular time. So, at that time, Jayadi Tata, of course, we have, they had that plan, they had this whole factory set up and, of course, it produces the steel in the First World War. Very good, everyone. It's a very, very important question right and now. It's so good that you know the answer for this also. Yes. Lots of love to all of you. So 50 points for all of you for doing really well, right? 50 points. We are just give, yes. giving away 50 points like it's... Yeah, it's there in the air. <laughs> so let's have a look at the leaderboard. A very interesting question. Who voted for third word war? <laughs> we... We just had two words. In, the, in our history, thank God, we don't need any more words. But in the history of, like, when we talk about our modern world, 
as of now or it should be the case forever and ever there's only two word first word first word war and second word war okay let's see the final leaderboard ma'am right now we'll have the final leaderboard yes it's going to be wow. the final the leaderboard I, i can see you have added some fancy names students very good very good so we have harsimran very good harsimran super awesome teri jamuna jamuna wali mami is on second then you wix then we have manjeet this crab i'm really sorry we can't see your name this is team bio ha this is akshu then there is oh god trijita yes then we have abhinav gungun and diksha very good very good well done everybody well done you guys did an amazing job lot of you are sharing your you know your points with us we do have a good number of 150 students maybe some of you came a little later but nonetheless everybody please make sure that you do not forget to hit that like button right and do not forget to hit that subscribe button because only in byju's here we come up with all these interesting things no so everybody did you enjoy today's class Today's class, of course, there were ups and downs, a lot of different things that we encountered. But did you enjoy today's class? Yes. Did we have a lot of fun revising biology and SST with your two most favorite biology and SST teachers? I think we the feelings for us. I think both the subjects are equally important, and yes, we, we feel that you know it's very important for us to come here and have these discussions and have these quizzes because you love them, and it's such a great way to revise, right? Ma? Yes. So everybody, at the end of it, if you have to ask me who won, see for us, whoever wins, we are happy. So either way, it's biology won today. So everybody, quickly, lots of love, right? Lots of love to all of you. I hope all of you have stayed subscribed to our six to eight channel because, ma'am, by just six to eight has always got them covered. And of course, everybody, quick reminder on spoken English classes because a lot of you. may feel like you are struggling with english and if you feel like okay if i ask people if i tell people they'll make fun of me if you have all those inhibitions in you then that's why byju comes into the picture where we will help you up right at your own pace at your own time and we will be giving you this two months confident speaking english program right yes. ma'am yeah and it's a paid course you can easily you know get the course the link of the course in the description box so go and check it out it's a very very interesting course where you know there there will be no judgment there will be only helping hands and we have amazing teachers over there so yes. please make sure to check it out yes of course and everyone with this you know we have got you covered this is something which we always tell you and we really feel that right that we have got you covered and you should also got us covered by hitting the like button and sharing this video with your friends and do not forgetting and do not forget to subscribe to the channel because nowhere else right will we go out of our way to help you out yes so by juice is the place so you have to subscribe yes thank you so much everyone please make sure to hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe as we always always tell you we will be sending to the winners right we will be sending yes. the certificate to the winner don't worry we have still so many so many competitions to go so many challenges are there in this week so please make sure that you are part of all the all the challenges of your grade and we will have the results really very soon and up until then everybody please take care and we'll be seeing you all soon up until then bye everybody lots of love